Hello everyone. Now this program, this video might actually uh, might not be exciting to you, but actually it's very 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 important because it uh, helps you release uh, reduce your frustration when you're when you're programming, and it helps you become a better uh, let's say coder. Why? Because a lot of students, what happens is that they get frustrated when they get to an error. So the purpose of it is how to show you the different techniques, how to find these errors, all right? So let's say we are human, we make mistakes. Let's say, and let's say that you come to this program and then you, for some reason, we start with the, let's start with the beginning, okay? For some reason, uh, I was typing quickly and I removed this bracket. I hit, I hit, uh, I typed and I hit enter and I deleted this bracket or this parenthesis. And I don't know, it looks okay to me, there is no error. But I don't know what happens until I actually try to run it. Now, when I run this, no result is showing. And I got this thing called council. Now the council we haven't exposed to before. It's the result is what you see in the graphic, but the council is for text information. But I got a red button here, a red mark here, and it says there is a problem. When you see that, that means there is a problem in your program, in your solution. So how do I fix this problem? First, the first step you need to do is that you need to learn how to read these problems. Some of the students, they go and try to read this, all of this, try to find the error. That's a waste of time. What you need to do, the first thing you need to do is go in here and find the problem. These things are called compilers. A compiler is basically validating the syntax of your language. Python, just like any other programming language, it has its own rules. It has its own grammar. These rules and grammars are called syntax in computer uh, world. So as a developer, as, as a person that's trying to learn programming, you need to learn these syntax. You need to learn how to instruct this computer to do something for you, learning the language that, or learning the rules of that language. So in this case, we have the simple problem. Here it says parse error, bad input on line seven. It, I go in here and these lines are important. Why? Because it tells me where the errors, or at least where the error is, is, is happening. Now, line 7 to me looks fine, but what about the line before? Because what happens is that the compiler tried to finish this command, but it couldn't find, it went to the next line and says, oh, these two, don't, these, these two lines are causing me a problem, so I'm giving you the error on the next line. So typically, you have to check this line or the line before it. So now examining this, I say, oh, I have a problem here. I can fix it. How do I fix it? Just put the bracket here again and then run it again and see what happens. So I, I got here, see the council, no error here, but I go back and I can see my result. All right. So that's what time, one, type, uh, one type of a problem. What another problem could happen? For example, I, languages usually are case sensitive. What is case sensitive? Case sensitive means that the letters appear as they are. They are if, if, it, if the command is a sm uh, small case, it's a, then you need to type it in a small case. If the command is a capital case, then you'll type it in a capital case. So the command that we've learned and available in Python Turtle is forward is a small lower case. So what do I do? I, again, by mistake, I typed it. I don't know the result. I just simply run it. Okay, it changed the color. Notice it did this command, but when it tried to do this, it gave me an error again. Now I need to go back in here, and we got a different error here. And it says invalid type object has no attribute. What object? The T object has no forward in it. When, I mean, if you don't know the, the language syntax or the grammar of that uh, language, you wouldn't know that there's a problem. But because I know forward is a small, uh, it's a lower case, I recognize there is a problem in here. So I just simply go in here and delete that and make it small, lower case. So now it, it's happy, all right? Sometimes, again, another problem could happen is that you forgot to put parentheses, okay? If, uh, this double quotation. 
If you don't put double quotation, this language, this computer program does not re does not recognize this as a text, okay? And it recognizes it as something else. But later on, will be you'll be introduced to it. It's called variable. But what happens now when you run it? It give me another error. It says red is not defined. What is not defined? Red is a color, but it's not defined as what we call a variable. Okay, just for now, remember that. You don't need to worry about it until you introduce the variable. So to fix the problem again, I need to pass a text. And when you pass a text, you, you need to put double quotes or a single quote around it. All right? So that is basics of problems. Now, sometimes you have multiple errors, okay? I'm gonna go and make a few errors. So for example, I put F in here, I put capital T, T in here, I put uh, uh, here, I put, I forgot at, uh, the T in here, and then I go back and I try, go back to the result and I try to run it. Now I got, okay, it works some of this, but I have problems. I need to look in here and notice it didn't give me all the errors, but it gave me one error. It stops where the error is. So I could have a problem, and that can be, sometimes causes a frustration for, uh, for new students. Remember when, what, what we talked about? I said that uh, as you type, try it. As you type, try it. Why? To reduce that stress, to make sure that you're actually testing it as you go, and it will help you on the long run. You type a little bit of code, test it, make sure that there's no error in it. So, but let me show you what happens. So we say line 12, where is line 12? Line 12, okay, we got that, it says forward, same error, error that we got before. So I know how to fix that one. Okay, so it's F, we got that. Now I go back and try to run it. I'm gonna get another error. It drew the first box, but it couldn't continue the next one. What is it? it says line 17 now, it says I have a problem. T, this object T is not the same one as before. So what do I need to do? I need to change that to that. Notice it, it's giving you a little error by error, all right? Now if I run it again, again I got another error left in here, what line? Line 23, okay? Line 23 and then I fix it. Now notice this can be a source of frustration, okay? That's why, again, I tell, repeat it again. This is based on experience. You type a little, test it, type a little, test it. Now, if you look at the result, now it should work after all of this. All right, that is what we introduced you today is debugging your program and finding errors. There are different type of debugs. The, some of the bugs in your program, bugs, mistakes. There are something called uh, syntax bugs. Okay, and then there are some that are called logical bu uh, bugs. Now, logical bugs, you don't have enough, uh, we don't have a lot of, uh, enough knowledge, but later on, you will find them. I gave you an example first when we changed the color, that's called logical bugs. The program worked, but everything, it's, it, uh, logically it doesn't work, okay? We will learn these as we go along with this course. Okay, so we're gonna stop in this video, and the next video we're gonna do really something really nice and cool. These shapes that we did, we're gonna make them more nice, and then you'll see the result in, in a few minutes. All right.